Hi, Shazulu. I uh, hope I pronounced your nick right. If not, then uh, I apologize. This is a video response to your video about um, strange quotes from Wiccans. Now, before I start, I want to say that I am not Wiccan myself. I have been Wiccan, but I then went the road of um, Eclectic Witch and then went over into Chaos Magic. So one of the paradigms I uh, often use in my path are Wiccan, so I consider myself very attached to the Wiccan religion. Okay, now for question one. I had not heard the specific quote that Gardner was homophobic, but it doesn't surprise me considering the times he lived in. After all, he was a well-grown man by the time he uh, started writing Wicca books, and that was in the 50s, so uh, homophobia was rather common back then. Also, for some Wiccans, uh, there are a conflict between being gay and the dualistic ideals of Wicca. After all, the heart of Wicca is um, the goddess and the god, yin, yang, the masculine and the feminine. So there are actually Wiccans that are homophobic. However, most Wiccans, at least most Wiccans today, look at it this way, that we all have the masculine and the feminine inside of us. And that doesn't matter what uh, sexual orientation we are of. There are parts of me which are masculine and parts of me which are feminine, just as with you and with everyone. So you can still have that dualistic path even if you are homosexual. Now, I am um, bisexual, so I can understand how some um, Wiccans that are gay actually have a problem uh, using the traditional Wiccan rituals as they are very male-female oriented. However, I don't see there's any problem of uh, modifying the Wiccan rituals to make them suitable for someone who are homosexual. So, Wicca today, I think, is very tolerant, though there are some groups that are actually homophobic. Whether that Gardner were homophobic? Yeah, I think so. But I think that has more to do with um, his um, time than his philosophy. Okay, question two. One of my pet peeves of all time is the Wicca is ancient argument. There are no proof that Wicca is older than Garrett Gardner. There might or might not have been an um, old Dorothy and her coven, but even if there were, that might send things back another 40 years max. Now, there are a tendency within the cult community to um, claim things to be older than they are. It has to do with many occultists putting a lot more credibility in things that are old than things that are new. So there's a definite um, motivation for someone to do that. That being said, there are like... I think it's very unfortunate that we can claim this because it makes us look stupid. There are we are mouths of something that's truth that have no evidence behind them. And one thing is um, direct spiritual things that you can't have um, evidence for when it's all fate. Another thing is physical things like dates. If Wicca was days old, why wouldn't there be any trace of it? Now, there are one point that can be made, and that is that we can do have um, incorporated ancient elements. Like, there have been practiced witchcraft for as long as there's been a human civilization. 
there have been shamans, there have even um, the earliest artworks, the cave uh, paintings, had, um, like most archaeologists think, um, magical um, meanings. So yes, Wicca do incorporate ancient elements, however that is not to say that Wicca is this ancient. Wicca is a new religion, it's 60 years old. It's like if I went to a museum and bought some surplus um, Roman tiles, and I built my house, and I have the tiles in my entrance hall. I can't then say that my house is 2000 years old. I have a few building blocks of my house that are 2000 years old. However, the weekends they have a few building blocks in the relation that are ancient, and then they claim the whole thing is ancient, and I think that's ludicrous. So, no, not all weekends claim this uh, enormous age of Wicca, but quite a few do, and um, I've said that I'm not going to say anything is definitely not true. The, among other things because I'm a chaos and we don't believe in an absolute truth. But until I see evidence, I'm not buying that age of Wicca. Now for your third question. I do not believe in the threefold law the way Gardner describes it. I think this is an oversimplification. I believe that <coughs> excuse me. I believe that you have a cause and effect. So um, if you go around and being a bastard, then uh, of course the chances are greater that you will get into trouble and get beaten up. If you go around being reasonably nice, then chances are people are nice to you. And it's the same with magic. You work with energies. So if all you do is cast curses, then the energy you have is will become very negative. And that can affect you. But I do not think that the goddess and gods sit there and say, oh, you cast a negative spell, you naughty, naughty girl, here's it, is it back three times. That's ludicrous. I think that Garrett Gardner included the threefold law as a failsafe. You and I can both agree that there are something real in witchcraft, there are real forces at work, though I think that the forces come from the goddess and the god, while you think it comes from a more sinister source. But um, we can both agree that it can be dangerous. And I think that Gardner is thinking, hmm, I'm going to publish this, and anyone can read my books, so let's include something that will prevent people from using this to do magical violence, for basically that's what negative magic and curses are, it's violence against people that can't defend themselves, because they don't do this. So let's put in a scare tactic, that's my theory. So, I believe there are consequences of negative magic. I think you build up negative energy, but I do not believe in the threefold law. I think that's an oversimplification. So, yes, um, I hope you liked my responses, and I hope you and your family are well. And I also just wanted to say that I really enjoy your videos. Have a blessed day.